this tutorial, we're going to look at entering text, numbers, and numbers as text. Let's get started with text. First thing you want to do is highlight your cursor over a cell you would like to use. You can also use the arrow keys to navigate. So in cell B10, so I can see it's highlighted B10, I would like to enter in some text. And I do this by simply typing enter in text. Enter. Now my active cell, which is highlighted by this black box, jumps to the cell below. So let's say I want to enter some text into cell D10. I can press the up key, I then write twice, and that will bring me to D10. You can also use the mouse just to click in it. There is not only one way to edit a cell. You can press F2 and then type in some text. You can double click and enter more text. Or simply again, as the example before, just type in the text. Simple, right? Let's try it with some numbers. Enter in 2015, three pounds 60, seven pounds 56. Now Excel will automatically assume when I use numbers that I want real numbers, which can be used in formulas, in calculations, etc. So you can see when I used two decimal places, Excel assumed that the format of that cell needed to be two decimal places. Here I used no decimal places, and here I entered in £3.60, but because the last decimal place was a zero, Excel just ignored it. One way to make sure that you can see the zero is by going up here to the Home ribbon and clicking that arrow and that will change the amount of decimal places you'd like to see. You can also do it the other way. Simple, right? But what happens if you have a lot of data which has text and numbers, but you only want to get Excel to sum the numbers? Let's give an example here. So, I've got year 2010, 2011, 2012. Does Excel view these as numbers or text? Well, if I highlight the three, it's summing them. It, it looks at these as numbers, but actually this is representing a year, 2010. It's a date. And for now, I'm going to correct that by just going into the formula bar or pressing F2, clicking in the cell and pressing the comment sign, enter 2011, comment sign, 2012, comment sign. Now, when I highlight the three, Excel just counts them, says there are three items, doesn't recognize them anymore as numbers. Pretty simple. Coming up next, we're going to look at entering in dates and times. See you in the next tutorial.